Jin is a spirit that a lot of people tell me that they absolutely can't stand. While I can understand that as a spirit, it can sometimes be abrasive, I find that having the right gin in the right cocktail makes a whole world of difference and starts to make you appreciate this absolutely wonderful spirit. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my top three favorite gins that you need to be drinking. So I'm just gonna hop right into this one. Number one is St. George. St. George is probably my favorite distiller on this planet. Everything they make is amazing. I probably have everything that they make on my shelves, uh, at least that I can get my hands on. And with their most important bottles, in my opinion, being their bottles of gin. And so firstly is their terroir. Their terroir is probably one of my favorite bottles of gin ever. Uh, they use 12 botanicals from California, which is where they're based from. And so they're all locally sourced. And it really is a gin that leans heavy into the botanicals. And so it definitely tastes way more herbal than it does uh, piney. So, right, so let's give this one just a tiny little sip. I love using this in like a gimlet, super simple gin cocktail, but this really shines through. You get a lot of those incredible botanicals, like I said, and not much pininess at all. It's actually an incredible gin to sip on, which I know some people might look at you and go, are you crazy? No one sips gin, but trust me, this one you can. But if you're looking for a more juniper forward, almost pinier uh, gin, they make the Botanivore, which is their more like classically styled gin that they put their own spin on. And so this works amazing in like a gin and tonic or any uh, cocktail that calls for uh, a gin that is more of like a London dry style or more of an old school style gin. Whereas the terroir is much more experimental. It's much more herbal. Uh, you get a lot more of those botanicals. And then we'll give the Botanivore a little taste as well. Oh yeah, much more of that classic gin flavor. And I can see this perfectly in a gin and tonic or in a martini or any other classic cocktail that calls for a more classic style gin. But it's just excellent. It's just absolutely amazing. One thing that I love about them is that they even made a dry rye gin, meaning they made a gin out of a unaged rye whiskey. And it's just something that is out of this world. And I've been trying to play with it for years, trying to come up with a cocktail that this would really work in, but it smells just like a whiskey. It tastes somewhat like a whiskey, but it's like if a whiskey and a gin had a baby and you'd get the dry rye gin. It's super fun and very funky type of gin that I absolutely love. Seriously, if you've never checked out St. George, I really think they'll change your mind about gin. Now, the next brand I wanna to talk to you about is Amazony. Amazony is a brand of gin that is from Brazil and I've actually made an entire other video talking about them, but they have two bottles, the Rio Negro and then their regular one, which I actually am out of at the moment. I'm very embarrassed about because it's the brand of gin that I use the most. So it's a uh, more classically styled London dry style gin, but it uses botanicals from Brazil. Me owning a Brazilian restaurant and bar, it's the gin that I use the most of today. I've built a lot of cocktails around this brand of gin, and it's one that I am absolutely obsessed with. I think it's a beautiful expression and showcase of the gin scene coming out of Brazil. And it's one that I love. Unfortunately, this bottle is also empty, so I can't even taste it and really talk about it. But like I said, check out that video that I did if you wanna learn more about it. But it is the brand that I am using the most of, uh, and I'm just waiting on another shipment of it to get to me. Uh, but it is absolutely incredible. But now moving on to some gin that we can actually taste, we have Bar Hill Gin. Uh, this gin is also, again, another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Uh, they are from Vermont, and this bottle does not cost all that much. This bottle runs just a little bit over $30, and you know, between $30 and $35. Bar Hill is an incredible gin made out of raw honey. Yes, and they combine juniper and raw honey for the most unique and incredible gin ever. There's nothing out there like it, and it's made up in northern Vermont, kind of in the middle of nowhere, amongst the most beautiful agricultural land that you can find, and it's an ode to the honeybees of New England. And they like to keep it simple as well. So it's just distilled from raw honey and juniper. And it's a, an incredible, absolutely amazing gin. And it's cool because everything that they have on the bottle is an ode to bees. So they have a bee right there. It's beeswax that keeps it shut. And it smells incredible. Just absolutely amazing. Oh, wow. I missed this. This is great. You do taste the honey. It's right there. You get some perceived sweetness from that honey, but you get a beautiful blend of juniper. So it still reminds you that it's a gin, but it really lets the honey shine. 
this cocktail when I worked at a bar, we used to make a honey cuke Collins. So you, we would mash up a cucumber into a Tom Collins. And it was this amazing, beautiful cocktail, very simple, but it allowed this gin to shine. And I think that keeping a cocktail relatively simple and mixing it well with the, the flavors that are in here is a great way to go. Now, of course, you know me, and I can't just give you three options. Uh, so the next one that I wanna to talk to you about is Scapegrace. Uh, Scapegrace is a gin from New Zealand, and they are incredible. They have two expressions, as far as I know. They're regular silver, and then they have their gold. Uh, the big difference here is that this is a 57% ABV, and this one is 42%. The reason why I love both of these is that it is a just a really well-crafted and delicious gin. You get some good juniper, but you also get a lot of their amazing botanicals coming right through in the gin itself. If you want to play with more overproof spirits, which sometimes hold up better in a cocktail, the gold is absolutely incredible. And their silver is just incredible as well. All right, so let's give the, the, the regular one just a little sip here. Mm. Wow, that's incredible. It's velvety smooth. It's very citrus forward. You get a lot of those great botanicals and just a hint of juniper that really makes you know it's a gin, but it's very citrusy forward and it's absolutely incredible. It's an incredible brand that I haven't seen people talk too much about, but it's one that I love and always carry at my bar. It's great for a cocktail and it's great in a G&T and it's even great if you really want to sip it on its own. Very good option. Overall though, no matter which one of these four bottles you decide to go with, uh, they are, I don't think you're going to be let down. But if you want to learn a couple of recipes that you can use these in, I have a whole other video that you can check out right here.